It isn't difficult to see what's happening. We are being told one thing and we are hidden from what's actually going on. It's unfortunate that so many people just believe whatever they are told. If we simply calculate the figures based on the methods from a few decades ago, we would point to recession. Today, however, we don't need reality. All we need is a printing press, right? You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we are going to look at the serious economic issues that are going on, particularly in the United States, but I'm also going to touch on Spain. We're looking at the same issues which apply all around the world. Central banking has created a big problem, which is a cycle that repeats over and over again. I'm gonna show you some of the details, and I wanted to begin by looking at this, I had covered it previously, and we are now continuing on with that. Ford CEO plans to lay off 7,000 workers worldwide. There were the comments that suggested it was only overseas. You don't have to worry, all the jobs are protected in the United States. Here you can see this includes 2,300 in the United States, so obviously it's going to impact those in the US as well as around the world. Every company is doing the same thing they're trimming back and we are being told that the economy is doing very well in most of the countries that right there tells you you got a problem you are being lied to and if you only looked into the truth just one layer deeper that's all it takes you start to uncover a lot of real information but it doesn't stop there. Bigger cuts expected, 23,000 more Ford layoffs needed, according to analysts. Now, this information is coming from the Detroit Free Press, and obviously it's not an official statement. This isn't coming from the CEO, but they're suggesting that they're going to have to let go 23,000 more people. This is excessive. I don't know if it's going to get there, but imagine. They're firing 7,000 people at a time we're being told that the the economy is doing well, that we are actually seeing abundance and that people can spend an unlimited amount of money. What happens upon the next recession? We are going to be seriously in trouble this time around. It's just one company when you look at it. I know a lot of people are, are out there, they're pointing to the facts and figures and saying, well, you know, it's Ford, it's just their problem. Oh, they're changing things around. Oh, they're moving all their facilities. Okay, it's actually actually restructuring. Oh no, it's not what they told you. Don't worry, everything is just fine. But I've been told that many times before and quite frankly, I'm not swallowing it. GM's 14,000 layoffs by the numbers, if you remember, wasn't that long ago. This article from February, 14,000 people laid off from GM. This breaks down all of the numbers, where exactly they're coming from, the salaried workforce, and so on. So you can see it for yourself if you want to look at it. But I just wanted to give you this fact that it's not just Ford. It is many different companies, and it's not just retail either, okay? So right here off the gate i'm just showing you that it's gm it's ford they are getting rid of thousands and thousands of people mgm resorts to cut costs and slash 1000 jobs this is affecting all different types of companies this happens to be just one of them this is recent information as well 3m to cut 2000 jobs yet another company big company in fact getting rid of a bunch of people nestle's us unit will slice 4000 jobs in delivery change they'll make an excuse one way or another doesn't matter the ultimate solution here is to get rid of a bunch of people so that you can try to get your profits up your corporate profits are so important always and whenever they fire people usually depends on the situation but usually the stock reacts positively to that and that really hurts because firing people as we saw during the financial crisis each of these companies particularly the financial companies went out there to their respective shareholders and basically said we're going to go well, because of what's happening, we're going to save this much money. So let's say we're going to save $10 million over the next quarter. And they do that 
by essentially firing people. So when they fire a bunch of people, that saves money. They, quote, increase productivity. I've seen it with my own eyes. And in doing so, they can actually see the stock maybe faring well in comparison to the others, depends on what they do. You see examples actually of firing more people than they actually needed to. And they, you know, really try to get their stock to stay afloat. That's the whole purpose. Indiegogo CEO steps down amid layoffs. Just want to show you all different types of companies here are affected by what's happening. This happens to be just one of them. There's another that you can really look through the list and see all the breakdown of these. When you look at dailyjobcuts.com, an excellent resource. On the left-hand side, they have the layoffs, middle, bankruptcy, and the right is closing. I've shown you this site many times before, but they actually give you the articles and you could see each individual individual instance of that so even if it's just one store closing down they're going to mention it and you'll get all the details in this website dailyjobcuts.com then you can see this long article okay i want to get to all the details as much as i can anyway because it breaks down every single issue that are being experienced right now in spain Banks and multinationals announce mass layoffs in Spain. So I want to focus on this first paragraph. There's a lot down here. I don't know how much I can cover, but there's so much that I just need to mention uh, what I can. Major Spanish banks, Santander, and I can't pronounce that one. Automakers, Nissan and Ford and other multinationals have announced layoffs of thousands of workers. They are part of a global assault on jobs and working conditions. That's their opinion here. I'm just reading it to you. But you're seeing other car companies that are affected by this as well major banks also we're talking about the biggest companies here that are being affected by what's going on and what is it what is it exactly is it the global trade issues is it the stock market not doing well or is it the global economic slowdown that is present right now that's been going on for a while and this all started with the contraction of the central bank balance sheets there are more details in here as you can see for yourself just as an example, Santander announced it was preparing to lay off 3,700 workers, that's 12% of its workforce, and to close 1,100 branches, that's 26% of its network. So we are talking about a huge change in this one particular company that is huge, that is multinational. And of course, it's not just because of problems at this one company, it's because of many different issues. They're all going on around the world world whether it's brexit is everybody's scared of these days and you're seeing what's happening with the china u.s trade issues there are many things happening all of them all at once and they're having an impact there is no doubt we are seeing it everywhere from china to the u.s to dubai to canada all over the place they are suffering okay then you look further below it just gives you some of those details about the company and unfortunately we see it time and time again how much much they are affected by what has been happening. This particular bank here, you can see that they worked out a deal in order to lay off 2,000 workers, okay? So we're talking about thousands of people now at a time when we're not in a recession officially, when the unemployment rate is supposedly doing better than it was several years ago. All the statistics don't add up to what we are seeing. It's like the companies and the central banks are basically coming together and they are saying, let's not tell them anything. Let's just report what we are actually forced to and then the rest of it we're going to keep silent and secret that's the way it seems to me on the you know looking at this from the outside here it looks like the company is posting billions of dollars in profits okay they're giving out dividends they're doing well in that respect but then they're chopping thousands of jobs how many times do we have to see this occurring over and over again with all of these corporations since the global economic crisis in 2008, 45 savings banks have either been taken over by other banks or forced to merge. Over 85,000 workers have lost their jobs and nearly 17,000 offices closed. You have to think, every time one of these offices close, that's not just the people that are employed by the bank. There are other factors that are involved. What about the people that clean it? What about the people that maintain it? What about the building itself, the commercial 
real estate owner and those who, you know, the electricians that have to come there and the HVAC people, there are a whole bunch of trades that are all in line with this and that's going to have an impact on these companies. There's no doubt about it. Look at Europe today and it's not doing well. It is suffering on so many levels. Next in the list, you're looking at Nissan. Here, 600 jobs. They're talking about this particular plant, 20% of the plant's workforce in Barcelona. They're being affected quite a bit in here. And we're talking about huge companies. We're not talking about small, one little store closing down the street. This is having a major impact. And it just goes on and on. You can see here Vodafone getting rid of 1,200 people. The supermarket chain Dia getting rid of 2,100 people. Nokia is getting rid of some people. Bayer, one of the biggest companies in the world, announcing 12,000 job cuts worldwide in Germany, getting rid of 4,500. Then it gets into Ford and other companies here in this list. But the problems that we see right now are not just focused on, for example, the United States or just in Spain or just in Germany and they're not just one sector it's not just one type of company it is every type of company globally now there are problems within these companies obviously you could see some companies are burning through the cash other companies have problems with what they're dealing with they have lawsuits so many things could come up here but all at once and the record store closures that we've been seeing you have looked around you see a one retail locations all across the world in these major cities that are empty my goodness this is telling us giving us the warning signs that are not going to be present in any of the fed speeches the federal reserve will not admit what's happening of course you're never going to see that they are always going to say we didn't see it coming it's such a surprise we saw the strength we looked at the inflation but it's obviously the government's fault and then the government's going to say it's the Fed's fault and they point their fingers back and forth and ultimately it doesn't matter because nothing is getting resolved. The average individual is losing their jobs. This is what occurs time and time again all throughout these cycles. So we're seeing all of the store closures, we're seeing the layoffs, we're seeing all of, the de of these details popping up and we're not looking at how many stores are opening. I wanted to show you here today, 2641, and I believe this is as of earlier on. This is the newest numbers that I could find, the core site basically tracking all of that, 2641 in relation to the thousands upon thousands that are closing down. So obviously we have the fastest rate that we have ever seen that I'm aware of, of store closures that are occurring right now in this cycle. And of course the amount that are opening, 2641 in this case, are a fraction of that. Now you look at this number here, I've made this point before, but think about the store down the street. You've got this location, it's on the corner, it's in a plaza, it's in a few units here, and they are constantly, never ending, changes to this store. One day it's a bakery, the next day it's a barber shop, then it's some weird clothing store, then it's some sort of store that you didn't even realize it was there because it was gone so fast. These are all counting for openings, and this is not being accounted for in when you look at the number it tells you 2641 but of course we've got bigger issues going on here that need to be looked at so that's what I wanted to show you and realize how just like the unemployment rate these numbers are skewed they are always twisted in order to benefit those in control so I'm going to end the video there. If you found it informative, please give me a thumbs up. When you give me a like on this video, you are supporting me and you're supporting this channel. So I do appreciate that very much. If you want the financial education you were not taught in school, these two books have everything you need from top to bottom. You get all the details of the foundation, the history, the asset classes, making money, reducing your debt, and so much more. So you can get that at the link in the description. If you want the audiobook, that's available at themoneygps.com. If you want the details of the now 7,000 stores that are closing, this number continues to ratchet up further and further. You need to watch this video, so click on it and I will see you there.